Today, we've got some exciting news from Huawei's recent Connect 2024 conference. So without further ado, let's dive right in. On September 20, Huawei's rotating chairman made two impactful statements that have everyone talking. First up, he addressed the ongoing US ban and its unexpected silver lining for Huawei. He pointed out that this ban has pushed Huawei towards self-reliance. Now, let's break this down. The US has imposed tough sanctions, citing security concerns, and it seems unlikely these will be lifted anytime soon. But rather than viewing this as a setback, Huawei sees it as an opportunity. According to the chairman, the restrictions have driven the company to invest heavily in its own chip and AI technology. Instead of depending on US tech, Huawei took this challenge head on, leading them to become self-reliant. They have faced significant struggles, no doubt, but those hurdles have sparked an incredible drive within the company. Imagine if the ban hadn't happened. What would a Huawei look like today? It's a thought-provoking idea. The chairman believes that the urgency brought on by these restrictions has been a catalyst for growth. It forced Huawei to innovate, adapt, and ultimately thrive in an environment that many would consider hostile. Now, moving on to the second big statement from the conference, Harmony OS Next. Huawei is gearing up to launch its own operating system, and they made quite the claim. Huawei stated that Harmony OS has achieved in just one year what Android and iOS took 17 years to accomplish. Bold, right? But let's look at the numbers to see if there's truth to this assertion. In just one year, Harmony OS is now running on over 900 million devices, with a hopping 6.75 million developers contributing to its ecosystem. That's right, minus 6.75 million. Furthermore, over 1,000 partners have jumped on board and the app count has exceeded 10,000. That's remarkable progress for a newcomer. When you compare this to Android and iOS, it's clear that Harmony OS is making strides at a much faster pace. This rapid growth has led Huawei to confidently state that they have made more progress in one year than Android did in its early years. So what does this mean for the future? If Huawei continues on this trajectory, they might just carve out a significant portion of the market for themselves. The success of Harmony OS could challenge the dominance of Android and iOS, especially in markets where Huawei is already strong. To sum it all up, the US ban while challenging has turned into a motivator for Huawei to become self-sufficient. And with Harmony OS, they're setting ambitious benchmarks for themselves that could redefine what we expect from mobile operating systems. What do you think about Huawei's bold statements? Are they on the right path or is it just hype? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. As always, I'll see you in the next one.